Ladies and gentlemen, we are here with the final episode of Modern Beach House. Uh, been dealing with high complexity, as you can see. I was actually dealing with that um, when I did the uh, tutorial. I tried to do the tutorial over there, and I hit high complexity. So that's a big reason, too, why the tutorial... I had uh, changed some pieces around in the pool because I had to do it uh, here in order to get this thing wrapped up. It was pretty much... It was almost done. I just didn't have... Like a lot of this, the walls on the the back, back here in the bottom, weren't were not in. So I swapped some pieces out. Some of the uh, I had a bunch of these in there. I took those out and then I swapped them in between this one and this one, and a combination of maybe one or two here or there with these. I probably could go around a little bit more. Sorry about that. The world was still loading. Rose. I could probably go back around a little bit more and. Uh, change a few more some of it's going to be hard because uh, some of the areas we're using um like right here in the kitchen we're using these smaller pieces to accomplish well, at least what i wanted to accomplish with the build uh the, the windows oh <laughs> i was trying to use the wrench on that well, let me take you inside so you can see uh it's actually getting dark already too so not too much change here that you'll notice. Basically, I guess, like I said, what whatever was done on the tutorial is what I did here. I took a bunch of pieces out underneath the stairs. Remember I had mentioned that back wall. You may or may not want to take it out because of uh, high complexity. Well, I did. <laughs> I took it out, and when, since I was going to have a wall up front here anyways, there was no need to keep uh, additional pieces back there since it was going to be covered. But we left off here at the entrance. I did the same thing up top. Remember I said I didn't quite have that figured out yet? Um, that's what I did. Just a little, uh, counter and some pictures when you walk in. I didn't do anything on these walls. I figured it would probably get in your way, and the, the ceilings are kind of high. But, uh, the bedroom, I did this little walk-up. You guys remember that? And I put this little statue in there. A little light shining on it. And this is how I finished up the bedroom. Next, uh, beds next to each other with the little canopy. Remember I said I was going to do the back wall, accent wall, bring in the brown, a little bit of the brown in. And use it as part of the uh, the bedroom build. Couch in front. This acts as a dresser. Windows. You can see the sunset over here. Remember I told you the moon will come up over here too. So this is really nice. Nice area. I don't like the big rock there, but there's nothing we can do about that. But the sunset's nice over here. I learned a lot with this build. I'm glad I came back to it. I uh, wish, wish we had a, a laundry room in here, but put a little bit of decorations in there again. You know, dealing with the... Sec I don't have it here. Resolved here. Have it here. Big part of why, you know, the, the guest house, I had to take it out. Because, I, like I said, I tried to put a landing pad there. And we hit high complexity. Oh, about to rain. But I put in, um, instead of the... Uh, this is my idea of the boathouse. I've been wanting to use uh, these swans. This is by the Modernist. He did those a while ago, and I thought that was a pretty clever idea when he came out with those. With the sunset, how the swans are. I thought it'd be a very cool idea to... Uh, another way for the guests to arrive, like if they're coming in with the, uh, the ATVs or speeders, they can park them there. And they can come here and wait. Wait for the uh, swans to show up. There's seats in there. <laughs> oh, man. This is great. I love it, guys. Just having some fun. But yeah, I tried to do the pool right here at the tutorial, and we were hitting high complexity. So, again, making some changes there. Because, like I said, I really wanted to get this in with the swans. I thought that would be a pretty cool idea. We did that. I put lights in them, too. You don't see them when you're far away, but when you're up close, it lights up the uh, little bit of the swan. See, the sun's about to set, so I'll wait for fresh daylight, and then we come back. Uh, we'll go up top and finish this. Uh, finish the rest of this out. All right, guys, we're getting some fresh daylight. Just to show you really quick, I'll go back and do a complete tour of the, the beach house for those that haven't seen it yet. Uh, but this is where we were. How close we kind of were with the high... Com Actually, we were over there, like I said, on the beach, but I was able to get it, get rid of it from over here, which allowed me to do this. 
which, which I'm really glad. And then up top, remember, we, we put in this area. And then actually, I really like how it, that turned out, to be honest. It kind of filled the space more. Remember the original idea? We were just, Dizzle was just going to create a, a modern beach house. And then I wanted to add a little bit more with vehicles now into, into play, guys. I think it has to be part of the build. Not every build, but so we came up with these uh, these landing pads. Oh, it's going to rain. I hear thunder. Yep. Uh, there's the small heli by Jax back, a large heli by Jax. Uh-oh. And actually, guys, I'm going to come back. We have lost so many trees to lightning again. Um, I'll talk about that. I'll wait again. I'll wait for this storm to end. Be right back. Okay, we're back. <laughs> I can't say we're not going to have uh, uh, any more lightning. But anyways, I don't mind the lightning being in survival. I think it's needed, but my God, you try to pick an area now and like, like oh, this area looks nice to build in. You just, I'm just losing all my trees over and over again now. Uh, but this jetpack was by light. Uh, I remember when he built this, I'm like, oh man, I have a spot for this. Originally he was going to put it down there, but <laughs> Dizzle got that landed pretty well and I wasn't going to move it. <laughs> uh, so basically I built this here and I built that there. <laughs> uh, my, my find's horrible. And we have our bridge for the, for the helis, for the, the guests that come through the helis and come across this way. You see the swans in the water over there. I guess they're coming in that way. I finished this right here, that particular part of the of the, uh, the landing pad, as well as I did a uh, step down, wrap around. Uh, that wasn't done before. Probably should put some railing up. Safety first. <laughs> I don't want to get sued. Wanted to put a helipad here. I thought it would look really good, but again, high complexity. We hit it for sure here back when I tried it. And then uh, we should be hitting it soon here. So again, here's the dock where they come in, the swans. Bringing in guests. Taking guests away. Uh, we'll go through this really quick, and then we'll wrap it up, guys. Again, the entrance coming through here. We have our bathroom through the right that we did. Double vanity with the, the missus chair in the middle. Dual shower. Sink to wash your hands. Oh, the toilet's not there. Well, let's get that in. Watch, we hit very high complexity now. I gotta get the toilet back in. There we go. Now we can go. And again, the bedroom. They were resolved in some areas and some areas were not. Turned out really well. In the kitchen. Again, a lot of little pieces in here. This is why we're hitting high complexity as well as these. Uh, we use these tables, guys. Remember? We have a lot of tables in here to use as flooring. And then our pantry. This was pretty good. This turned out really well. I was happy with that. Working desk. More storage space. Dining room. Great room. That leads into the breakfast room. Fire pit, fireplace that functions for inside great room, breakfast, and then outside. And then we did the uh, modern fireplace over there by the pool, the bar. We lost a tree, remember? <laughs> that tree was not the lightning's fault. That was Dizzle's fault. But you can see if I can come back this way. Look, all the trees that were gone. We had at least four trees over there, maybe five. Now they're just gone. And then our pool. This is what Dizzle started with. Uh, the tutorial that I showed you guys, that's pretty much what I did. And then I just built, uh, we did the fire fireplace next, the bar, and then we just worked right. Breakfast we did next. Then we did the uh, great room, dining, kitchen, uh, pantry, bathroom, and then bedroom, and then entrance. So there you go, guys. This is gonna wrap this one up. Uh, I still wanna do more. I'll probably come back to this here and there around with it if high complex number one of high complexity uh ever gets resolved we're able to do more but there's more stuff i want to do out here that i think would be cool and then uh we'll work on something next i don't know i know i have a phase two project plan and i have another project plan but i think there's an update coming as well so we'll see we have uh we have some options 
But this is going to wrap up the uh, beach house. If we come back to this, guys, it won't no longer be la uh, labeled beach house. It'll be whatever uh, I'm working on. Uh, that This is done. Beach house, modern beach house is complete. All right. So this is what we'll catch you on the next one.